Ride with us just in time. There's a black rhino just ahead of us. And it'll be interesting to see how it reacts to the vehicle. They can be quite cantankerous, short-tempered beasts. And it looks like it's coming straight towards us. It took a few steps towards us there. Let's just stop here and see what it does. Now we've got a wonderful view of its very hooked front lip. Helping to distinguish it from its cousin, the white rhinoceros. And it's got this hooked lip because it prefers eating on leaves, whereas its cousin prefers eating on grass. Just like the buffalo you were with, with Jamie, it also enjoys mud wallowing. And you can see a whole bunch of mud caked over its skin, creating initially a cooling effect and thereafter a great barrier against all those flies that you can see covered all over its body. And I'm not sure how many rhino you've been lucky enough to see since you've been in the Mara with the rest of the crew. Oh, looks like it may be doing a scent mark there, but we can't really see. I'm just judging by... Oh, there we go. You can see its tail's all curled up. That's a distinctive sign post scent mark. And wasn't that awesome? A black rhino doing its business. I'm surprised it didn't come at us. Initially it took one or two steps towards us. And they can quite often come charging in just to kind of investigate, find out what you are. And often at the last moment they veer off, thankfully. So.